the prayers of the people. Redeeming God, you call us to devote ourselves constantly to prayer for the sake of Jesus Christ. Therefore, let us offer our prayers this day on behalf of your church and the world, saying, Fill us with your Spirit's power, that we may be one with Christ, as Christ is one with you. Rescuing God, parent of orphans and protector of widows, you give the desolate a home to live in, and lead out the prisoners into prosperity. Help us to order the patterns of our common life to support the health of your human family and the welfare of your world. Fill us with your Spirit's power, that we may be one with Christ, as Christ is one with you. Steadfast God, you have given to your church the inheritance of faith in Christ alone, and bestowed your Spirit's love upon us to make us one in you. Help us to grow in strength and courage to witness this hope, that all may find your saving love eternally in Christ. We pray for our bishop, Audrey, our clergy and staff, Amanda, Matt, Gina, Paul, Rich, Maria, and Equilla. We lift up Calvary Chapel, Beartown, and St. James Muncie in the diocesan cycle of prayer and in the Anglican cycle of prayer. We pray for the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Most Reverend Justin Welby, and all primates and bishops. Fill us with your Spirit's power, that we may be one with Christ as Christ is one with you. Life-giving God, you send rain in abundance to relieve the parched crops and thirsty land, and make clean the winds of heaven. Help us to find sustainable solutions as we seek to honor and care for the well-being of your creation. Fill us with your Spirit's power, that we may be one with Christ as Christ is one with you. Loving God, you heard the sufferings of your people, listened to our cries, and sent a Son into our world that was no stranger to our pain. Help us to offer your healing and compassion as we minister to others in the mercy of your Christ, especially Joshua. Fill us with your Spirit's power, that we may be one with Christ as Christ is one with you. Resurrecting God, you draw near to those who are sick and dying, and you call them home to you. May we all know the joy of life eternal shared with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.